Hello guys, I'm sorry it's been such a long time. I have kept forgetting to record. I should have, I didn't post one because I messed up in it and I forgot to re-record it. So, otherwise, I know we've primarily been focusing on the Premier League, but we're going to take a little journey outside the Premier League to um, Spain where, because the Madrid Derby happened. Um, last weekend, Real Madrid played Atletico Madrid, and Atletico Madrid somehow won 3-1, to one, um, with Morata getting a brace, Griezmann getting a goal, and then Cruz was, on, was the Real Madrid's only scorer. Um, the records so far are 3-1-1 one, one for Atletico Madrid, and 5-1-0, and 5-0-1 for um, Real Madrid, and Atletico have played one game loss, obviously, yeah. And one thing I will point out is Real Madrid have everything they should have won, except for a few things. They have had they had almost two thirds of the total possession in game, sixty three point six percent. They had twice as many shot attempts, and they had f five shots on target. But judging on how many shots they took, Atletico Madrid had a better on target percentage with forty percent because four of their ten shots went on target. Oh, when Real Madrid out of 20 had five. Um, so they had 25% while Atletico Madrid had 40%. This was played at, this was played in at, at Atletico Madrid Stadium. So they obviously do have the um, home advantage, but they were still the underdog, probably being very, probably favoring Real Madrid by two goals considering they spent so much money. Um, and they had four times the amount of saves, but that was generally because Atletico Madrid only had four shots on target compared to five. But that really shows, considering they didn't have that much different shot attempts, but Kepa, the goalie let, for Real Madrid, let in three goals, which he should have not. Like, just generally, Kepa's a bad replacement when you can sign David De Gea for free, like, no cost. But you decide to spend $80 million on our horse Spanish goalkeeper who's unproven at Chelsea. And then they weren't even starting the one striker at the club, Hosolu. Um, their t striker partnership, for some reason, they won a partnership, even though they have no strikers, was Bellingham and Rodrigo. Now, and then they were starting Valverde at right mid, where Rodrigo should have been playing. Then Valverde should have been the sole midfielder. Striker should have been Hosolu. And I'm fine with you putting Bellingham up front. After all, he's had an amazing season so far. Um, and Real Madrid, the crazy thing is Real Madrid have won three out of the last five derbies um, against Atletico. The, their record against them it, in the last five is three, one, and one, which is pretty impressive considering you're playing your biggest rivals in some of the games where they even won against them at, when Atletico Madrid were at home. So this is really all I have today, and... And the Carabao Cup finished tonight, I think, um, and Champions League should be soon.